Hello, hello! This is Orange Effect here. Welcome to another episode of Bully Scholarship Edition. Um, sorry, it's taking me a while to do one. I did one, I, I did a video on Monday with my nephew. Sure, scary. Um, so that took a while, but what also happened is my nephew started his own game on Bully and over, and saved over mine. So, I now have to start all over again and do it myself, so, and he's scratching his ass. So, I hope you guys enjoy and let's carry on. Halloween! Who celebrates hey, what's Halloween? what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But, I'm cursed. Yeah? Really? <laughs> yeah. Cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining. I use that word loosely. The kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on. You'll see. Okay, I, I, I'm interested. Let's go. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice guy. Yes, I look like a jerk. Out of here. <laughs> Oh fuck, you can't beat Russell normally like that. Not out in the school. <laughs> Come on, kill each other. Can you help me, sir? I really appreciate the time game. Oh, thank you. Kick me sign. Evil mode activated. Hey Jimmy, nothing better to help me out. Cool thing. Prank complete. Of course, I'm just too good. <laughs> uh. Hope you guys are having a good day because I sure sure know that I am. Sorry, bro. Okay. Why are you pushing me? There's somebody right here, but um Um Hopkins, I use your assistance. Itching powder. Let's go. <laughs> you 
motherfucker, come here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump, and then... What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. You better, cause uh... Get over here, you little butt. I'm not exactly one for... <laughs> How did he scoop that up? How did he scoop that up? That's gross. <laughs> I know. Come on. Just letting you guys know that it is extremely cold today here. Um, my toes are frozen. Homework's a drag. Oh shit, homework's a drag. Fuck yeah! The teacher's got shit on himself. Another good oh fuck! <laughs> what the hell did I do? Come on! Shut up, bitch. Why the fuck is he eating in the boys' dorm? He lives here. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'm out of here. Gary, or what is the other mission first? Ah, uh, why did I do that? All I need to do is check the map. Um, character sheets. I might quickly do that one before I help Gary. So I remember what happens when we help Gary. 
up and over, bitch! Nah. Didn't touch you. Character sheets. Let's go. Arriba, arriba. Bunch of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight whomsoever recovers these precious screeds. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Time to get serious. Shit. Get off. Alright, come on, leave me alone. Touchy, you bitch. Master of escaping. Oh, come on. Really? He's they're both the same height. Get the fuck over it, man. Can't stand violence. Not 
and make it past him without getting caught. And Jimmy wins again. Fifteen minutes, okay. <sighs> Here we go, let's go help Gary. Little weasel he is. Little bitch! Okay, Gary, Gary. Good on you. Gary. Why should I follow that puss infested little shitbag? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't do anything. Oh, fuck me. supposed to lead the way when I didn't even know where we were going. There's a bed under here. So one minute you want me to follow you and then you want me to follow me and now you want to follow me? Hey, 
Jimmy, see if you can knock the door over somehow. Make it hit the switch. Jimmy, over here. I'm coming, I'm a coming. Now here's another switch I used to. Whoa, five wires. Looks like I'll hold this down and get the power to Rubber band. Almost there. Sorry about that. Hey, Gary, Gary. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people and keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Fucking fruit loop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Russell. Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell, go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Yes! You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time.
You all right, Russell? Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. <laughs> oh, God, I love Russell. He's funny. <laughs> With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. It's a good metaphor. But once it loads through in that, I'm well, going to have to... Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals. No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Fifth hey, honestly. new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm going to save it and call it here. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like now we can go into town and we can do this and we can do that. So. You may wait quietly. Shush. If I saved over my nephew's one, he would be so pissed. <laughs> so. I'm calling it here guys, um, it's been fun so far, I'm enjoying this, uh, I will be resuming my other let's plays soon, but as for now I'm just going to be mucking around with this until I can figure out basically what to do on some of them, because I'm quite stuck on Dreaming Sarah, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm not exactly the brightest spark in the box. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and a favorite. Subscribe if you're new. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, I hope you guys have a good day, good rest of your week, and I will see you guys later. Bye for now.